Good Life. I'm Dean Wilson. So glad you've joined us uh, from wherever you are. Uh, we're so grateful you're with us. You can always find us at goodlifetelevision.org. This program is brought to you by the Turner Foundation, which can be found at theturnerfoundation.com. And uh, we can also be found on all the social media sites. So we hope you'll follow us and uh, join us. A lot of great interviews at goodlifetelevision.org. People from all walks of life. So we think you really enjoy them. I'm really excited about my guest today. She has a remarkable story. Um, Agata Delgado is with me. Agata, welcome. Hi. Hi. Thank you, Dean. Thank you thank for having me, giving me this opportunity. Yeah, thank you for joining us. And we're, we're really, uh, we're here to talk about the, the kind of the journey that Agatha has been on with her son. Uh, Palayo is, uh, he's now five and a half years old. And he, this is, this is a really remarkable story. And it, it, it uh, ties in, we've done a number of shows uh, related to uh, Doman International, which is an organization that helps parents with a brain injured child. And they deal with all kinds of different diagnoses. Uh, this one is one that I had never heard of until I started to read to get ready for this program. But it's it's uh, Palayo was diagnosed with left-sided congenital hemiplegia, which we'll talk about in a second. But the journey that that Agatha has been on, helped by Doman International to help this young man uh, get better has, has been amazing. And so that's what we're here to talk about. If you want to find Doman International, you can go to domaninternational.org, D-O-M-A-N international.org is where you can find them. They're headquartered in Philadelphia, uh, but they, they've been doing remarkable work with families with special needs children for decades. So I got to tell us about Palayo's birth and, and you had one of these moments of motherly instinct where you knew something was not right and yeah. you were telling even in the while you were still in the hospital you were saying something's not right it's amazing to me that motherly instinct that can that kicks in but talk about the birth and kind of what you were experiencing and what happened when I, I had Pelayo in his uh, born, I, I have it. I, it was a really, really, really wrong, uh, long, long, uh, 48 hours. Uh, it was really, really long. And I thought that there was something wasn't going on. But also I noticed in the pregnancy, in the very early pregnancy, I was thinking that something wasn't going on. But, uh, you know, uh, doctors, they look, they do, but they are not, uh, you know, they don't know always everything, you know? Right. And it's when you have your child, when you see, like I was mother before, I noticed that my child in the second day of his born, uh, something was born. He was crying a lot and wasn't normal. And I was seeing that there was something, my instinct was saying, this child, it's not okay. And so what, what, what did you, did you, you told them and- And, and I told in the hospital, I was in the hospital and I was saying, I think this child, he's not okay. He's uh, having a lot of pain. I was get, uh, giving him breastfeeding. And he, they were saying, no, that can be it's you because you are, uh, you are, uh, he's starting to eat and his stomach. And I was saying to them, no, this will start in three weeks, but not now as it started. And he gets red. I was seeing him really, really crying, crying like he was really in a painful thing. But uh, the doctors, they were saying, no, it's okay. The test. The Akbar test, it's a, the, the test uh, that we do uh, to any child that born in, in uh, Occidental medicine, like Europe or uh, United States, was 9, 10 in maximum. But I'm putting in test that these tests are not, are not really normally uh, all right, you know, because I think and pediatricians and they are not so prepared for some some things i i realize now that i know more things about the brain now now right but, uh, I, I i just tell them there's something wrong 
I don't know what is it. I'm a mama, I'm a financial accounting person, but there's something wrong with my child. This is not normal, he's not okay. He's in pain for five days and that's not normal. Something is getting it's wrong with him. Wow. But I was insisting and insisting and insisting in the hospital. And then what, so you take him home and what, what happens over the first year? I take him home and in the 15 days, he was all the time ill. I didn't went out practically from the hospitals, you know, because he couldn't breathe all right. He had a lot of mucosity. Uh, like they say to me, we can't do anything. Uh, I was bringing him to a, a special clinic for uh, with sweet water to clean him. I was seeing that things weren't okay, but like the child was uh, laughing and was responding to me in a very intellectual way, I was okay. But I was seeing that his mobility already, with he starts to move very quickly. I said his mobility wasn't symmetric, like two sizes at the same time, symmetric. And in one thing, in one when I, in one visit of the pediatrician, I say to the pediatrics, uh, this child, uh, he's he's not symmetric. I think one of the left sides, uh, one his left side, he doesn't move uh, too much. Uh, he's all the time using the right side, but he doesn't move the, the left side. And sometimes he does sporadic things. And I think that is normal. And one nurse listened to this neurotic woman. <laughs> that was me. Right. And say, yeah, that's not normal. But it was four months already. Wow. And then wow. I, they sent me to a special neuro, uh, ne uh, neurolog. And I went to, to see them and I was going in with my baby and then this say, oof, this child have a brain injury in one of the sides. Just seeing him like this. Because it was very, you could see it. And then I started looking, I was seeing that in the, here in, Cat, in Catalonia, in Spain, uh, everyone, all the specialized, they look the child, you know, like neurology, it's very, it's everything very parted. But they don't look the being, they don't look the, the, the whole uh, child. Right. And they start to tell you, okay, he's going to be, he has a brain injury. They make all the diagnosis and they say he have one uh, side that it's uh, not going to move very well, but he, with the stimulation, he's going to be better because uh, you don't know because it's very small right now. And I started already with the public uh, system that we have here to do once a week, one hour a week stimulation and I was saying that my son was not okay and then went in the vaccines and the vaccines make him to don't hear and my, I lose my child because his bright eyes went out uh, when he was five months old wow when Pelayo was smiling already was that and his bright of his eyes went out in 10 days and he couldn't hear from one side 19% and the other one just a little bit low. And wow. then it's when I say, no, I'm not putting more because it's not because the vaccine in that moment, in, for him was not all right because the brain puts, give the energy to the immunologic system for make survive the brain. It's logical. And what happens? These children are very, are touched since they are born. And for them, these vaccines, the way we are putting the vaccines can be, are not the best. Okay, right. can be, we need to find, to, to, to stay one year. When they, they are one year, we can start to vaccine them with very take, taking care, very, you know, it's a very right. difficult situation with a brain injury. And when I saw that, I started to move around uh, searching because I, I was seeing that everyone 
was seeing their part, but they no one was seeing the child as the whole child, no intellectual mobility, audition, everything. And I was researching around the world, and I find Doman, and I I, I saw information about Glenn Doman because I went to a course for parent stimulation in Barcelona for the brain, and in this school mm -hmm. they taught me about Glenn Doman, and I was thinking, if uh, this man have done that, I'm going to go to where the knowledge is. And I went to Philadelphia to find it. <laughs> I'm going to go it. where the knowledge is. That's good. Yes. So, so you found Doman. So again, we're talking about Doman International, which is domaninternational.org yeah. for, for parents who may have yeah. a child with a uh, brain injury, special needs. Um, yeah. So, so you found Doman at the end of 2016. So he's yeah. just a year old. Yeah, he Why was nine. Was he, nine uh, he was nine months before nine he months. was a year. Yeah, nine months. Okay, nine months. And so, you, when you went to Doman International as a parent with a special needs child, you learned all about the brain, didn't you? I learned about the brain first. Out of what they do is to make the course to the parents to prepare the parents to know why you have to do it, right. how you have to do it, and uh, how to do it, you know? Right. And have so much sense, everything. Right. That, uh, uh, but the thing is, uh, it's a very hard work to do. Right. The program is very so, and 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 I don't know if you know this, Agata. I'm a parent of Doman child as well, so wow. we we went to we went back to Philadelphia for the first time 17 years ago, wow. and we've been doing the program, you know, most of the time ever since, and and so you 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 when you get there, just for people who are watching who don't who, who uh, most of whom wouldn't have heard of this. You're learning, you know, you spend about 50 hours in an auditorium learning about the brain, the way it works, how brain injury affects um, mobility and function of all kinds and how you can help the child. So they give you a program. So they send you home to Spain with a program of what yeah. you could do to help Palayo with his particular brain injury. Is that right? Yeah, that was a specific program for him. Right. And it's and it's everything from nutrition to nutrition, oxygen, okay, uh, oxygen, right? Oxygen, it's mobility, intellectual program, right? Uh, tactile program, a uh, sensitive program, uh, everything. Every the information goes in by three senses to the brain, and you have to give the information good because the brain can, can learn the bad and the good. And it's right. very important for the children to make order their brain. Okay, what we are doing with the domain is to order the brain, to put order, in the order the brain, order right. the brain, yes. to put in the information by audition, title and visual, because are the ways you can go in the, in the knowledge. And with this, after we put, the children doing uh, some things for the expression by mobility, by the manual um, capacity, and uh, manual capacity, and also the language. What's the thing? When someone is brain injured, normally or can express himself by mobility because he's paralyzed or right. have disorders or can talk. Because also there are paralysis or a dalteisman, whatever, and a spare him, and they are not able to talk. Or uh, can be, they also by the mobility, they can write. You know, they would right. not be able to write. What we do, we put information about the three senses audition, visual, and tactile. And what we do, we do a specific things for going this information. And after we left the children all the time in the floor, in the floor, they live in the floor, they sleep in the floor. If they are able, they, we can put them to it all right. But they are, we left the children in the floor to be free to put, the, to make the movement. And we also patron them, patron right. them. 
Patterning. So let me explain that just for yes. real quick. So patterning yes. is, is an exercise. It takes three adults to do it. And it's basically with all four limbs, you're basically telling the brain, this is what it feels like to crawl in a cross pattern, which if you have a well child, they do that naturally. These children don't. So you're, you're actually doing this exercise that is teaching the brain. Here's what it feels like to crawl in a cross pattern. So I want to, I don't want people to miss what you just said, because there's so much great stuff that you're saying. So the inroads to the brain are tactile, auditory, and visual. Um, visual. And so what, and when, so what you're doing with the program is you're stimulating, you're stimulating and you're messaging the brain with stimulation brain with over, it, yeah. Can be over, someone... over a period of time. Yes, but uh, what did Doman, uh, Doman International, and, and all the research from Glenn Doman from, okay, was uh, for a long time, they were doing research, but also they were, they were looking for research that was already in the, in the market, no? in the science already published. And what they did was so much information, what we can do with also my, to do a profile. We are going to do a development profile from zero to six years years old, why, uh, the, where are the steps that the brain have to do right. from the uh, brain stem, the thalamus, to the main brain, and to the and the cortex? This from zero to to six. These children have to pass these stages. Okay. Right. But the, our brain injured, we are going to call them like the slow ones. We are going to call like the, pro, the normal children, and I'm putting like this my fingers, right. like normal children for like a, a half a measure. And there are some superior, okay, in the different stages. And what we do is to see since the First, uh, I don't know how you say in English the instincts, the los, re, uh, reflex. The, yeah, the, reflex, the, reflex. Instincts, yeah, they started right. the reflex that we have. Right. Uh, uh, if you don't have that, for example, the Babinski reflex that makes you later walk, you are not going to be able to walk. First, you need to stimulate the Babinski. For example, yes. Pelayo, Pelayo didn't have Babinski reflect in one in the left side and what happened any pediatrician any neurologue didn't see it ah. Doman teach me and i saw it at the start i right. go to the pediatricians and to the neurologue to say you see he don't have the babinski right so let me How explain he, what the babinski yeah? is just because again I don't yes. want people to get lost, but so, so you're talking about on his left foot, he had no r response to tactile stimulation. A stimulation, of None. course. Which means that doesn't bode well for mobility on the left side. And they yes. call that the, 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 that when you touch that foot and there's a, there's a twitch, a reaction, a they call that the Babinski reflex. So yeah. just to fill everybody in. So, so you, so you noticed there was no Babinski reflex on the left foot. Yeah. And so you began a tactile program a of stimulation. Program of stimulation that left to foot. make him reflect, to have the yes. reflex. So, so what, what, what we're saying here is a child that doesn't have the, in this case, the Babinski reflex on the left foot, that can be acquired through enough tactile stimulation yeah through enough through a program so so this is the really the groundbreaking idea here agata is that the brain can grow through use like From a muscle use. like through, a muscle through use. if, if, like you, if just, you go to the gym and you are super fit it's because right. you go training every day right which this is the same yes and so that's something for a parent so if you are watching this and you, you you know of a child that was special needs or a child that's not developing on schedule or your child's not developing on schedule, there's something you can do. And this is the point that, that we learned that you learned is that there's yeah. something you can do to help the child to 
take the developmental steps that they're not taking, that if you just put them in a swing and don't do anything, they'll never do it. It'll never yeah. happen. But what you're saying is when you put the child on the floor and you begin a program of stimulation of with great repetition, intensity, and duration over time, frequency all the time. That, that that child can begin to do things that they're not doing, whether yes. it's a, a, something like the Babinski reflex in their, in yes. their foot, they're not experiencing the, the proper response, that that can be taught in, in essence, the brain that can be taught. Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? But for example, Pelayo. Pelayo didn't move or right the half of the side. Okay. He couldn't crawling only with one side. And I have. So he was only using the right side. The, the right, right side. Hand, and right he foot. was crawling with the right side. Got it. And what I did to pattern him, to put the, the cross pattern in right. his head. And right. left him in the floor to try to do it. I put the information. I try to do. I do it. I I put in the information, and I and he and he proves to do it. That you do it six times a day, seven days. Right. Six times a day, seven days. But you do that with the patron. You do that a day with the listening things. You know. You yes. do Crawling and. And what right. Doman has is has measured how much you have to do in a day for the brain make the change. Right. And so he started crawling eventually. He started using the left side. Left side. And when he started creeping at first, he used to fall down with his left side. But we continuous patterning him. And I used to crawl, uh, creep with him 400 meters a day so let, let me explain again just definition of terms so creeping so crawling creeping. is like an army crawl in your stomach yeah creeping is when you're on all fours yeah but you're still a lot of people would call that crawling but doman calls that creeping so you creep he he, he crept hundreds of meters a day to be a able day. to get to the next phase a day to the next phase but never you can pass through one you have to pass right this one and after you can go to, to the other one. Right. Because it's the brain have to go like this, but you can be more functional, can be you are not doing all right, but the brain is doing, you continue until you are able to put in, it's like all the mammifers. Right. We all go in, to, in four, in four uh, you know, and uh, after, the human we put in biped station and in in you know we are able to walk right so okay. crawling creeping standing walking running right that's the journey yeah. in mobility and in a child like palaya would not have gotten there had you just done nothing he would be essentially paralyzed but yeah. because you did the doman program He's not paralyzed. Let me let me read let me read this yeah. what you sent to us, Agatha. It's it's so powerful. So, because this is we only have a, we only have a minute left, but here's a story of a diagnosis five plus years ago with a child that was not going to be able to develop certainly not mobility wise. Today, Palayo goes to an international school. He laughs, he speaks, he speaks perfectly, he walks, he runs, he rides a bicycle, he climbs, he plays soccer, swims, socializes with the rest of the children. He understands three languages uh, and also can talk in those languages. This is a miraculous, wonderful story, Agatha. And so I, I wanna say congratulations to you for all the work I know because I'm a parent and my wife has done the heavy lifting in our family, but I know, especially for the moms, this is not easy. This no. is a labor of love. It's very difficult over many, many months and years, but you've done that and you've given Palayo the gift of life. You've given him the ability now to be able to do all these things when he would have done nothing had you not done anything. So I want to say to you, you know, our hats off, congratulations to you for all the work that you did. It's, 
I, I just, it's like laying down your own life for this little boy and look what's happened. It's, I'm yeah. so happy for you. Yeah, um, thank you very much. I just want to see to, to say to all the mothers, if mothers are listening to us or parents, our children, their being is there. We are able to look at them. They are not able to talk to us, to express themselves, but we are here to guide them in this life. Yes. And with this guide, with this force, miracles are able with the force. And I told you, it's able to do it. And yes. Doman International have the knowledge for do it. Yeah. Thank you beautiful. very much from the heart. Oh, thank you. That's beautiful. Well, that's a perfect way to end. Thank you, Agata. And say hi to thank Palaya for us. And uh, God thank bless you. you. Thank you. You too. Go pleasure. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Ciao. Thank you.